We're officially two days away from the start of Philadelphia Eagles training camp down at the Novacare Complex, but Howie Roseman is never quite done tweaking the roster. It was announced on Friday evening that veteran running back Darren Sproles will be brought back to the team on a one-year deal. Someone who has been with the team since 2014 and now wants to end his career with the Eagles, coming back for one last rodeo, one last shot at getting a Super Bowl ring. Now, this move obviously comes with plenty of question marks, many of them surrounding Sproles himself, and then the knock-on effect to the other backs in what is already a very crowded running back room. So we'll be getting into that very briefly in today's video before going much deeper over the coming weeks so if you're new around here guys if you've not yet hit subscribe please make sure you hit that red button what do you guys think of the move to bring back Darren Sproles let me know in the comments below the first thing we've got to consider here is what is the role of Darren Sproles going to be if we're looking at this in a much bigger picture he missed 10 games last year due to a hamstring injury and was kept on IR the entire year arguably taking up a roster spot that could have been used to bring in someone else to reinforce one of the many other injury stricken areas the team were very loyal to Sproles and you have to respect that in some ways but in others you can argue that there were more pressing needs at the time of his injury in the year before that Sproles tore his ACL and would only play in three games in fact he hasn't played in more than seven games since 2016 it's unlikely that Sproles steps in and carries the ball 10 plus times as he did in three different occasions during that season but he could be a key component in keeping Jordan Howard Miles Sanders and the rest of that committee at their freshest if Sproles can become a change of pace back, not only will it keep defences honest, opening up the passing attack for Carson Wentz, but it will give the Eagles even more unpredictability in their rushing offence. Sproles may be one of the best dual threat backs in league history, if not the best. In 2017, he still found a way to total 73 yards on 10 receptions before his injury, building on the 427 yards and two scores he caught in that 2016 season. In fact, Sproles caught a pass for 10 plus yards in nine games during the rookie season of Carson Wentz, and since then, he's never really had that healthy Darren Sproles to lean on, that release valve that the Eagles have needed. And if you think back to last season, especially when the running back was floundering, they couldn't really establish anything on the ground they were forced to lean on screens they were forced to lean on swings and getting guys into open space that's largely why they brought in golden tate someone who could create yards after the catch without the need to run the ball up the middle with Sproles back in the fold, the ability to add a pony look and split the backfield or simply motion Sproles into a wider position could all be terrifying for defences, again opening up some new ways to move the ball for Carson Wentz. Then of course, there's the return game. Sproles has a wealth of experience as a returner and could be a huge cog in Phipps special teams unit for one last time. As of right now, Boston Scott, a back with a very similar skill set to Sproles, is among the favourites to pick up those honours. But now with his roster spot and a player like that of Wendell Smallwood being put into jeopardy, one can only assume the intensity surrounding this training camp battle has now risen up at least 18 degrees on the oven. The Eagles have a flurry of talented running backs and it's safe to say there's no way they will make the final roster. The question is, who will be forced out of the equation now that Sproles is back? We can assume that Darren Sproles is pretty much a lock at this point, as is Miles Sanders, as is Jordan Howard. In the event that the Eagles take four running backs, which seems most likely, that leaves Corey Clement, Josh Adams, Wendell Smallwood and Boston Scott all to duke it out for one position, all of which bring very different traits to the table. Clement is almost a blend of what we see from Howard and Sproles, someone that's versatile, who can hold his own in pass protection and of course make plays on the outside rush as well. You've got a guy like Boston Scott who very much mirrors Darren Sproles and I featured earlier in this YouTube channel showcasing just how high his ceiling really could be if given the opportunity to shine and then there's Wendell Smallwood a back who has been a jack of all trades but master of none for quite some time hasn't really shown a great jump in his development but the Eagles remain very high on and although you can see progress with him lowering his pads before contact and taking on a more bullish mentality he still hasn't really taken that leap forward that many anticipated so which back is going to lose out here they can't all make the roster it's going to be a very fun training camp to watch and a very intense one for the running back so make sure you follow along our coverage at Philly Sports Network you can follow me on Twitter at Liam Jenkins PSN and at Philadelphia SN let me know what you think of the move down in the comments guys I'll see you soon